pilot KIA. Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Tricky Acid and welcome back to another Titanfall 2 video. You guys really enjoyed the Ronin vs Ronin Prime video, so here is me bringing you more of what you love with Tone vs Tone Prime. Kodamono and HZ are going nuts, so let's get right to it. We will kick it off with the chassis comparison. And as I steadily move around the two Titans, I love the lights on Tone's back, which resembles her spine. And yet on Tome Prime, strangely enough, they're missing. Moving on to the legs on Tome Prime, they have a straightforward design with these straight panels, and yet the original Tome has a slightly more complex design. I feel that's the overall basis of the design of Tome Prime. She's a lot more basic in comparison. Her chassis is more of a block with holes for arms and legs. It's like the inspiration behind Tome Prime was based off a refrigerator. And I'm sure after saying that, perhaps most of you will never look at Tome Prime the same again. So I haven't been the most fond of a new look, however with Tome Prime having this big flat canvas compared to the regular Toad, I thought perhaps it would work better for nose arts. So let's see how that went. Starting with the original body, they look great. They work well with her chassis, and one of my favourites is the Game Face mouthpiece, which looks awesome, and the other variety of DLC nose arts all fit in accordingly. But when it comes to these nose arts on Tome Prime, I don't feel many of these artworks have been done well to fit her new face. With the new flat canvas that Tome Prime has, I thought nose arts could really work well on her, but I was sadly disappointed. What bothers me is that central lock on the front that covers up or cuts over some of the nose arts and the result is terrible. A good example of this is the comparison of the game face nose art. Notice how better it looks on the original tone and how both parts of the mouth seamlessly fit together. Whereas for tone prime, that center lock cuts off the top part and the mouth has been resized and it's not a good look. And even the paid DLC nose arts look terrible and this comparison really highlights that but to be fair it's the same what i said in the ronan vs ronan prime video that it seems like a trend with the prime titans and hopefully respawn will release prime titan exclusive nose arts that you can purchase to match the new chassis on a more positive approach though prime titans have always had a distinct difference in their voice and tone prime is no different so here is a comparison of the two voices. Switching to manual, all systems nominal. Rocket systems are in your control, pilot. Welcome back, pilot. Tone systems transferred to pilot. You are being engaged by multiple Titans, 40 millimeter armed. Warning, severe reactor damage sustained. Reactor is exposed. Friendly Titan attacking your target. Friendly unit down. Our defenses are being compromised. Pilot control initiated. Seek out target locks and track them. Pilot on board. Welcome back. Welcome back, pilot. Tone systems transferred to pilot. Friendly Titan attacking your target. Salvo core ready. Salvo core activated. Friendly unit down. Our defenses are being compromised. Salvo core ready. Warning, severe reactor damage sustained. Reactor is exposed. Target eliminated. Well done. I had to add that clip in the end because I hope you guys saw that gamer tag because it cracked me up when I was filming this. But in regards to the tone of the voices no pun intended but i love tone prime's voice i prefer the deeper and darker speech sound in comparison to what the original tone provides now onto a specific issue hc highlighted a point where tone prime's weapon clips into a front chassis lex is in his original tone and you can see how the butt of her weapon doesn't clip through her body or if it does it's extremely little if any you could argue that on the original tone, her chassis is curved inwards to possibly prevent any graphical clipping, but nonetheless, it's still an issue for Tone Prime. Notice how the butt of the gun is clipping into a chassis. So clearly, there are some collision issues that could be addressed. It's like she's nibbling on that gun as HC aims up and down with her weapon. 
I'm aware it is not a game breaking issue, however saying as this is a comparison video, it's good to show both the flaws as well as the strengths between the variations of the two tones. And speaking of strengths, this brings me to the final point, and that are the executions. We'll make a start with Tone's original execution named Gusa. It's pretty cool how she shoots the pilot in mid-air, but Tone Prime's execution in my opinion is a lot more exciting to watch. Tone Prime comes with the execution named Target Acquired. I love how she flips you over just to shoot you down with a barrage of rockets. For me, it clearly takes the cake when it comes to an execution comparison between the two titans. And that is it for this comparison video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, it really helps us out. Also comment on your thoughts on Tone Prime and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for the latest videos and I'll catch you all next time. Oh, you are doing great kid. Keep going.